Hi, we're going to give you a quick tour of how to listen to WMNF online using WinApp. If there are a lot of different ways to listen to our online stream if you're out of town or can't get our broadcast signal. Uh, but if you're on Windows, WinApp is a good way to go. So from our homepage here at WMNF.org, just click on the big green Listen Live button. And you'll see uh, links to all our streams here. Uh, if you don't have WinApp, in, WinApp installed, uh, it's really easy to do. There's a link here. We can just open that up. And we're going to click on the free download button and go with the free version, not the pro version, just because it's free. Save that and open up and run it. Just click on next here and agree to all the stuff that you haven't read yet. Default location is fine. And there's no real reason to uncheck any of this stuff, so we'll just leave all that checked. Click next. Uh, I don't really need a quick launch option Click next there, and I don't want any of this kind of extra stuff. It's going to install just the player. Click install. And there we go. We're going to have it uh, launch Winamp after it installs. Just click finish there. Uh, you can pick from any number of skins. A skin is just a different way of uh, an application can look. The same application you can make it look different kind of ways. You click around and see. We'll just leave what, uh, whatever it came up with the default there. Click Next. Uh, and here's the important bit. You want to make sure that it's associated with audio files. That means that when uh, uh, Windows thinks it sees an audio file, it's going to open it in Winamp. So we're going to leave that checked. Just click Next. And just click Finish. Winamp. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. And after that friendly welcome from Winamp, we're all set. So we're going to get close here. So now we can go back to our WMNF Listen page and just click on the button. It'll say, please open in Winamp. Just say OK. Old as Ronnie Elliott. <laughs> and there we are. Ronnie. We was... love you, Ronnie. <laughs> we love him. And the reason it was able to open that straight up is because we told it to associate audio files with Winamp. Uh, if you've already got Winamp installed and that's not working for you, here's how to fix it. Uh, you can right click up here and get the menu. Um, and one thing that's kind of weird about Winamp is that if you click in different places, the uh, menu is different. So make sure you're kind of clicking up in the play window and you'll see uh, options. So if you don't see the options on your uh, right click menu, and by the way, I'm clicking, I'm right clicking to get that menu. If you don't see options there, just uh, try a different space. So we're going to right click here. Whoops. Somewhere. There we go. And say preferences. And we're going to come down to file types. And we want to make sure that M3U is checked and also mp3 which is kind of down here in the middle and if those are highlighted in blue you're all set if they're white like that or if the whole section is white just make sure that mp3 and m3u are clicked in blue there and we can say close and then that should work for you and that's pretty much all there is to it um whoops there we go uh one thing you can do if you want if you've got mnf playing you can click over here where it says mnf high bandwidth stream right click on that and say bookmark item and then in the future if you want to listen to it you can just say play oops right click over here say play bookmark and there it is another thing you can do is from this listen page or from the links on the right here on the left rather uh, it must be your right uh, you can right click on that say copy link location and come over to Winamp and say, right click over here, play URL, and then Control V in Windows will paste that in. And there we go. Uh, and just a quick reminder uh, WMNF1 here is our broadcast signal. That's what you'll hear at 88.5 FM in the Tampa Bay area. WMNF3 is our new digital channel. It's the source, it's a lot of great public affairs and some arts programming. And uh, WMF2 Bulls Radio is the student-run radio station from USF up here in Tampa. Uh, so that's all there is to it, really. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to web at WMNF.org. And thanks a lot for supporting and listening to WMNF.